Hello, this is Dr. Do again. This video is an uh, alphabetic list of problems on letter I. Today I'm going to talk about a group of clinical uh, problems. It's called idiopathic disease, uh, either idiopathic of the headaches or idiopathic back pain, joint pain, which referring to a group of diseases or conditions or symptoms that cannot be explained by specific etiology. Uh, these are uh, either through the laboratory test or physical examination cannot review the cause what, uh, of this particular headaches or uh, back pain or abdominal pain, but they are truly diseases, not like malignant or factitious disease. They are different from uh, the category of the psychological uh, uh, diseases, but these are the true diseases, but without knowing causes. So these refer to the idiopathic. In general, uh, talk about the diseases, actually in general you can categorize in the um, four category, like idiopathic is one that uh, uh, in this category that uh, refer to all of those diseases or conditions or clinical presentations which cannot be explained by the particular etiology. Or aseptic, which uh, refer to another a uh, huge cluster of diseases that are not caused by the viral or bacterial any kind of infection. I'm going to talk individual, give you some examples. Or the septic diseases, which means the infections either cause the bacteria, viral, a viral infection, or parasites or fungus, etc. So these are the, the another cluster of uh, diseases that are very common, either clinic or hospital. And there's another, of course, the growth, the abnormal growth, either benign or malignant, referring to the the, uh, the tissue or the organ undergoing abnormal change through proliferation or apoptic uh, uh, cell undergoing the, the uh, regulated death. So these are the process. So basically, these are the, the four of these classes of conditions really can um, categorize all the diseases or conditions. For example, the, uh, the aseptic causes could be genetic, could be autoimmune, um, and also actually the idiopathic you may think belong to this category. However, idiopathic etiop can be caused by the uh, sept uh, uh, septic disease and sometimes they integrated uh, to each other for example the cancer uh, could be caused by the, the HPV virus infection uh, post the risk of the cancer and uh, and uh, any other um, cancers so they are interrelated however if you categorize categorizing these four groups then might be easier to understand the pathophysiology or, and the etiology along with the uh, prognosis and also the management so give you an example of this aseptic uh, rheumatoid arthritis or there's a, um, a systemic uh, uh, lupus so these are all the conditions not caused by the infection, it's caused by the autoimmune causes, the overreaction of the body, immune system, product the antibodies against the self uh, through different mechanisms. So, and also some other genetic diseases, for example, the uh, lysosome storage disease or glycogen storage disease, those are the cluster of genetic um, the genetic causes either increase the risk of the specific disease or just clinically manifest of the conditions of diseases. So this is uh, 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 another class of the uh, diseases uh, in terms of etiology. In terms of septic, it's quite straightforward, so common. Uh, I cannot say which one is most common, probably septic or uh, the uh, non- it, it's really hard to say, but if you consider upper respiratory tract infection, urine tract infection, the common cold, the flu, and the uh, strep, uh, strep throat, they are all belong to this kind of uh, uh, septic causes and of course manage accordingly uh, based on the pathogens. And also the skin fun uh, fungus infection is one of the most common uh, infections uh, we can 
see at either clinic or hospital. So this is the, the septic. In terms of the growth, of normal growth, either from proliferation of the cells, undergoing the benign, um, a lot of times we have the cyst or fibroma, just overgrowth of this particular tissue in that organ or in that area. That's the benign growth, and of course the other one is quite common, the cancer. Like I mentioned, the, ca the cause of cancers probably can trace back to this idiopathic or the septic or the aseptic cause this cancer because the etiology, the true etiology really uh, of the cancer is not known. We also we just know that the, some of the genetic or genes pose the risk of this uh, cancer. So this is in general. For the idiopathic, I'm going to talk more about this idiopathic. What kind of uh, condition can define as idiopathic headaches, for example? We know there are so many different kinds of causes of the headaches, the migraine, the tension headaches, the rebound, the uh, withdrawal, all of these, or the stress, for example. All of these can cause the, uh, the headaches. However, if uh, through the thorough workups and uh, couldn't find any uh, causes, I uh, couldn't find the reason for this headache. The headache patient present to the clinic just saying the headache cannot uh, fill in any of the, of the above categories. So that kind of headaches diagnosed probably would just say idiopathic headaches, idiopathic causes or idiopathic headaches or the back pain and the same idea. Or if the patient present with back pain it cannot uh, fit in the trauma or the inflammation or any other uh, causes of this back pain probably will diagnose as, as an idiopathic back pain. In terms of management, may or may not uh, using the other uh, management for the uh, known etiology, for example the headache. The migraine, we also we know the, uh, the TCAs or some other SSRI can treat the, the migraines. But for this idiopathic headaches, it's really hard to say what are the causes. Probably in terms of the treatment, the management, on the trial basis, uh, you try this, see whether it works or not. Or you try that, see whether it works or not. So a lot of this kind of idiopathic disease is really is the, um, the puzzling for the physicians and also the suffering for patients. The idiopathic diseases is, is, could be because of the, uh, the symptom is so vague, patient couldn't describe it accurately, or because of the, the limited of, uh, knowledge we know in terms of the diagnostic laboratory or clinical criteria. So these are uh, the, uh, anyway, there's, uh, uh, there are a cluster of these idiopathic conditions. The video uh, here presented just for those patients who uh, had this kind of headaches or back pains to the clinic and the doctor couldn't tell you what are the causes. So you're not going to hold the, uh, the puzzles or the, the blames or, uh, or, dis uh, or unhappiness because they're really limited on what we know and also the, in terms of test and knowledge. And also the most important thing about this idiopathic is the, the management. As long as the medication can feel, make you feel better, then uh, that serves the purpose. So this is about uh, the uh, introduction of this idiopathic, the concept of this idiopathic from my understanding in terms of the diseases, the etiology, and the pathophysiology. I hope it helps to uh, uh, to answer your questions. So, uh, so I'm going to stop here and thank you for watching and I will see you next time.